wow. He fucking did it. He pulled off a miracle. Hi there, Rating Hunters. Welcome to another video. Today we're looking at the Restoration Druid for Season 3 Dragonflight and how to get 1800 in Solo Shuffle. Uh, I'm gonna be covering the gear, the talents, the macros that I'm using, some of my add ons, and uh, we're gonna cover a few things about the rotation. And to do that today, I brought some help with me right here hello everybody and for those of you who are wondering why you should be looking at my guide you must be some kind of a dumbass <laughs> i am one of the top 500 restoration druids right now in europe that's pretty good right? so i think that i have a pretty good idea of what i'm talking about at least and i am currently at 1908 rating so let's start off with looking at the gear so for the gear you want to get the two piece as soon as possible uh, i went with legs and gloves the two set will make your grove guardians throw nourish on all of your team at 40 percent effectiveness it's a good amount of healing and if you can't get the four set good luck for you good for you <laughs> i didn't get it i've been very unfortunate with my druid actually but the two set is still pretty good you want to get as much mastery and and haste as, as possible mainly mastery right now i'm using a uh, haste belt but i do usually run with uh, mastery waste actually for the crafted pieces i went with the head with precog on it and i also made the the leather feet with the 90 percent if i'm over 90 percent health i will get mastery other than that it's not that much to uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is to say about the gear. So, the talents. The talents, I went with this build. I'm gonna link the build down in the description. And you can change the vortex to entanglement if you want, for example. And you can go with the master shapeshifter if you do a lot of shapeshifting. And otherwise, I went with this one to get... Uh, the five percent faster healing on my hots yeah i think that's pretty much it to um, for the talents no sorry but don't forget the pv talents i'm going to type them here for you at least since he forgot to add the footage <laughs> so the rotation i put life bloom on my targets and always keep life bloom up all the time it's the most important hot that you got other than that i start the game with rejuve as well and i get a regrowth hot because the regrowth hot will apply to all of the other or all of the, the two others with um life bloom as well i throw in usually two trends imme immediately uh, after I put my hots up because I know that most of the games you will get CC'd and then I'm always trying to get the incarnation tree of life pretty early in the game because when you do your regrowth is instant cast a lot of healing coming through that and your rejuvenation is, is buffed and also your and tagging roots is instant cast so if you are being chased or anything you can just put the roots on them immediately and they won't attack you and you will be spawning small trends all every 10 seconds uh, very good healing as well if they will get you in a cc when you are in three of life you will still be putting out a lot of healing with the trends and if you are getting trained don't forget to use Tranquility uh, so they can't attack you. Keeper of the Grove, you will be protected when you are in Tranquility. And if it's an oh shit moment, you need a lot of healing fast. Use Nature Swiftness, nature swiftness with Regrowth as well. And Iron Bark is a good CD uh, if it's very bad. Or sometimes you can go and put the Overgrowth as well. I will apply a lot of healing immediately. Very good to uh, have in a bad situation. And I also try to, on the main target that needs a lot of healing, I try to put Adaptive Swarm and that will also increase 
the speed of the hots. If you are getting trained, don't forget to use the trank, go into bear form, use your bark skin and your uh, heal as well. And you should also try to throw in the stampeding roar to get away as soon as possible. And you should be safe. And you can also, uh, if you are trying to get away, don't forget to use your travel form and your wild charge to get away as well. Basic tips for when you are getting trained. And if someone is getting very low, don't forget to use regrowth mainly because the regrowth healing is increased. If they are under 60% health, it will put cultivation on them as well. Very good to know. Small things to think about. And don't forget your renewal on yourself if you are getting trained, very good heal. So that's pretty much the rotation. I think it's easier to see the rotation in in a live game instead. So I will be adding my footage from when I reached 1800, the games right before. And after the, the games, we will be covering the macros and the add-ons that I use as well. <laughs> now, this is epic. Wow, he fucking did it. He pulled off a miracle. The add-ons, let's have a look. The most important add-ons that I'm using for healing overall in solo shuffle will be big debuffs and also enhanced raid frames to be able to change the size of my frames 
for my uh, teammates and myself because that's gonna be the most important window to have to have your eyes on as a healer frame sort add-on to put my uh, to sort my my party so i have one dps on top one below me and myself in the middle and i'm doing that because i have my tab targeting for my arena players is well, I have one, the, the one above me is scroll wheel up on the mouse and the one below is scroll wheel down and targeting myself I just press down the scroll wheel. Trust me when I say this, the tab targeting just using your, your scroll wheel was a game changer for me when it comes to healing. Uh, it becomes so much easier and faster and you will actually, once you get it down using your scroll wheel instead of clicking your frames to heal it will be become a lot easier to be aware of the environment and what's happening around you as well as a healer very important and if you are new to healing i would actually recommend getting gladiator losa to be aware of if a mage is trying to to cast a polymorph or whatever on you so you can get into cat form or anything to avoid getting cc'd something telling you in the air that someone is throwing a polymorph and then you can actually avoid that cc very easy uh, i'm also using the life bloom glow add-on that's a very important one it's gonna make the life as a rest druid a lot easier and i'm gonna show you why in just a moment i'm just gonna see if there's anything else that's very important nameplate cooldowns is a very good one as well i will make a video covering all of my add-ons and why in another video this is just for the important ones for healing i think that's actually the ones that are important yeah the life bloom glow is very important because when you throw a life bloom and as you see here, as soon as the life bloom is about to go out, it will put a glow around it. And that's when you know, now it's time to renew it. Because if you do, it will put a bloom as well. So you don't refresh the life bloom before the glow. Because if you do, you won't get the bloom effect from the life bloom and it will not heal as much as it should be doing but that's very important don't don't just throw out life blooms just to to try to get healing out because it's not gonna help it's better to get a regrowth uh, and a rejuve for example and then when you see the life bloom glow then you know now i can can put life bloom and i will put a lot more healing to the life bloom as well so as you see I have two life blooms right here, the, the one of them is the bloom and one is the hot. So it's very important to use the bloom effect on the life blooms. So don't forget that, very very important. It's gonna change all of the healing as a Rester Druid. And all of the add-ons that I'm using you can find on, I suggest that you download Curse Forge to get all of your add-ons, it's very easy to use. And for the add-on settings, I'm just gonna show you right here and you can pause the video if there is anything that you are wondering about my, my settings. For big debuff, here they are. my raid frames this is the setting that i'm using then we have the frame sort this is my settings for frame sort then we also have the life bloom glow very easy it won't get any easier than that and if you're running gladiator losa then you need to to actually decide what alerts you want because otherwise it's gonna tell you everything that anybody's doing and you're gonna go crazy and not want to use it anymore this is my frames for arena i'm using s arena my enemy frames and my settings are And then we have my nameplate cooldowns if you want my settings. 
Here they are. So that will be it for the add-ons that you need to heal in Solo Shuffle. If there's anything you're wondering, leave a comment, or if there's anything you, you think that I missed out on and uh, telling you, just leave a comment with a question and I will answer it, or join my Discord. Also, we will be covering the macros right now, and the macros you will find in my Discord, of course, which will be linked down below. So let's see, for the macros, I'm using one for Incarnation Tree of Life with Innervate to to save mana if I, I feel like I, I'm low on mana and I want to use Tree of Life. Uh, it's it's going to use a lot of mana just throwing out regrowths. I'm also using a lot of the harm macros. I have my rejuvenation, but if I target something that I can attack, it's going to turn into Star Surge or my Life Bloom went to Wrath uh, and regrowth became Moonfire. So I'm using that to save a lot of space because there is a lot of spells on Druid to keep track of. Let's see, I have a Nature Swiftness and Enos macro. I'm using the... I have a Leap macro to go into travel form and use Wild Charge immediately to get out of sticky situations and innervate to cast it on myself without having to, to target myself. Bear form macro to go into bear form use bark skin and uh, regeneration to heal if i'm getting trained you should get a cancel form it's gonna save you almost a global when you're changing forms you can just go out immediately because otherwise when you if i go into cat form and try to get out of cat form it's gonna be an entire global before i can get out if i'm just pressing cat form again but if i'm using the the cancel or um the cancel form macro I can do it very fast so it's a very good good macro to use so that will be it for the restoration druid guide uh, I think I covered all the most important things and if there is anything that you're wondering just leave a comment or join my discord all of the macros will be found in my discord as well don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel for more content and i hope to see you next time happy rating hunting join today like and subscribe